Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today, and like I was saying in the intro, I'm sure you're probably getting a little sick of those threats of kick returns. You know, you got those Dion's, those Tyree Hills with like 98 speed, 99 speed, 97 speed. You gotta be careful. And I know a lot of people have resorted to just going with squib kicks to make sure the sky kick isn't even safe anymore. Uh, but I think I found a way that has been working for me. I just played through all 25 of my weekend league games, only went 15 and 10, but I only had one guy return one touchdown in all of those games off of a kickoff. So I feel very confident with this. Like that's that's easily 100 plus kickoffs over those 25 weekend league games. And if only 1% of them was a touchdown, probably less than that, those are pretty good odds. So all I'm doing, it's so simple too. I'm, I'm sure people have tried this out, but I, what I think is happening, most of the time people are using, either picking kickoff right or return right or return left. So generally what we're doing is we're, you know, we're going with a kickoff right and kicking it to the right side or kickoff left and kicking it to the left side. I was started doing it this for really no reason. I just tried it out this way where I went kickoff right, but uh, I'm going to do kick the ball to the left. And it's just really been throwing off my opponents I find. Cause then when I'm kicking the ball over, first of all, most people kick it to the right side. Then I user, uh, oh, I can't get anyone, like someone over here and I'll basically, he ran it up to that right side. Whereas most people, when it's kicked to that that right side, like a user, they're gonna run it to the left. So all I do is I take, I'll try to click on to someone, not like the furthest man to the right, but the next guy to the right. I'm really struggling to get over there. <laughs> Holy, so it's really possible. And then I'll try to take him over to the middle, to the other side of the field. I'll try to shoot through any gaps in the blocking or go around everyone and cut them off on the far side. Usually you'll get men in there before that can happen though. We'll take a look in some of the gameplay footage in, the, in, the, uh, in a minute here, but yeah, it's as simple as that. Just picking kick off right, kicking it to the left. And that's all you really need to do. And then just taking, oh man, I really can't click over. Then just taking your guy and just running with him over here, just kind of like watching to make sure. That's the thing, if they weren't running up that right side, usually they're gonna get in there because the, the usually your defenders are gonna get in there to stop him. He's pretty generally unblocked. And if they do start to get wise to what you're doing, then just switch it up and go with the kick right, sorry, kick off left and kick it to the right. You just gotta switch it up or go up the middle or you can sky kick. Generally, if you start to do these different things, it's gonna throw your opponent off. They're not gonna be ready for it. So I found, I think in that game that I did have the touchdown returned on me, I had probably kicked off like five or six times that game. So they kind of got used to it. I think I had switched up the sides and gone back to the original way and he was just ready for it. And he took a good user and he was able to beat me on it. I should have taken down the video of that one, but I think I was a little frustrated, but other than that one, there literally has not been another kickoff return on me, which I think we all know is a rarity these days. It can be kind of tough to stop those kickoff returns. So this has been what I'm using. Let's take a look at some of the gameplay footage I have of it as well. All right, here we are at the gameplay footage and we can get a better look at exactly what I'm doing. See with my user on Slay there, I'm bringing him through the pack. But before I can get to him, all my other defenders are gonna get in there and they're gonna stop him. Look at that, well short of the 20. There's another one here just kicking off to that right or the left side of the field. And you know, again, you can see Slay coming in here. I'm gonna bring him through the pack. And again, he's gonna get cut off before he can even make it anywhere over there. For some reason, a lot of blocking just seals people up. But when I start running it this way, they're not getting free. See, again, he's trying to run it over there, but I've got that next man. See, I'm on that next level. After he makes that spin move to beat the first man, that's where I am, ready to stop him. Here again, see, I'm clicking on Slay, running towards him, then I seem to have clicked over. No, I'm clicking over. See, I'm running behind the pack, making my way over. So if he's trying to get wide around everyone, I'm gonna be there to meet him. See, again, same thing. I'm wide, way behind everyone. He makes a move to beat him, the next man gets him. And see, I'm still there. There's still another man after that, and then me. So you've got so much coverage. And still, the furthest anyone's even really making it is to the 30, and good on them. If they've got to make that many moves to get there, good on them. 
and then people might just start giving up on it and then they get into the weird thing where they accidentally take safeties like that doing it because people start to see what's the point of running it back I'll just take it from the 25 and then they get these weird little animations which I'm not trying to make that happen it's just that's not a scum kick that's just someone being dumb that's a dumb return that's what that is that's not a scum kick so that's what I've been using lately. It has helped me out huge to make sure that I'm not getting any kickoffs returned on me. So give this video a like if that works for you. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. I've been Time Bomb, and I'll catch you guys later.